Look, we know intermittent fasting is a powerful way to blast fat. We've seen amazing before and after weight loss transformations. What if there was an easier way to practice fasting? Well, in this video, I'm gonna give you three ways to practice fasting with bone broth. Let's do this. Hey Keto Camper, Ben Azadi here, best-selling author of three books, certified functional health practitioner, and founder of Keto Camp. We're on a mission here to educate and inspire one billion people on planet Earth. I'm gonna break down three ways for you to utilize the amazing benefits of bone broth with your intermittent fasting. And when you do it the right way, you're gonna get exponential results. First and foremost, let's talk a little bit about why bone broth is so important to include on your keto and fasting lifestyle. Here are some of the benefits that research has come out and shown that bone broth can do for you on this lifestyle. We know bone broth can do the following. Stronger immunity against illness or allergies. Bone broth can help reduce the symptoms from leaky gut, irritable bowel syndrome, SIBO. We know bone broth in general can enhance digestion so you can absorb more nutrients on your keto lifestyle. It could also help with gas, diarrhea, bloating, and acid reflux. We know the collagen in bone broth could help with healthier joints, ligaments, and tendons. We know bone broth could help with younger, youthful skin. I always tell people, hey, it's not Botox, it's bone broth. We also know that it can reduce the appearance of cellulite. That's very important for a lot of ladies out there. We also know it helps with stronger bones. So important to prevent hip fractures and osteoporosis, osteopenia, especially as we age. We also know that quality bone broth has higher amounts of calcium, phosphorus, magnesium, potassium, and so many more. So we know bone broth, when you have the right source, can be phenomenal for your keto lifestyle. Now, how do you incorporate that into a fasting schedule? It turns out there's three ways to do it, and I'm gonna get into all three right now. The first way to pair bone broth with an intermittent fasting keto schedule is to use it whenever you have cravings. We know that when you go from being a sugar burner to burning fat and producing ketones, that transition period could be a little tough. The same part of the brain that lights up when somebody experiences a cocaine addiction is the same part of the brain that lights up when somebody experiences a sugar addiction. So in this scenario, it makes sugar as addicting as cocaine. Yikes, but here's the cool thing about bone broth. It contains glutamine, and glutamine will help you wean. When you intake glutamine from high quality bone broth, that same part of your brain that would have lit up with a sugar craving starts to calm down. It, it targets and calms that part of the brain that lights up. It also helps to give you some more electrolytes which balances those cravings, especially when you have gone keto. The kidneys are going to release a lot of excess water weight. Along with it goes your electrolytes. So if you're not replenishing that with high quality bone broth, Things like the keto flu, brain fog, fatigue, and even craving will start to persist. So I love using bone broth this way, especially for somebody new to fasting as sort of a crutch because we wanna look at fasting as a muscle that we develop. You wouldn't be a couch potato for 10 years and think, oh, I heard all about CrossFit and tomorrow I'm gonna to do a CrossFit workout. No, what will happen to you if you did that? you'd get hurt, you'd feel like crap, you're not gonna get through that workout. Same thing with fasting, you wouldn't be eating every two to three hours for so many years and say, I'm gonna practice fasting tomorrow. So this tip right here is especially important for somebody new to fasting as a crutch for you to help with cravings and to start building that fasting muscle. The second way to use bone broth with fasting are for longer fasts, 24 hours, 36 hours, and even longer. A lot of people, they have trouble when they go into these longer fasts. But the benefits of these longer fasts is to get more of that autophagy, right? That's when your body is actually going within your cells. Think of Pac-Man going within your cells, cleaning out your cells, and sometimes even destroying cells via apoptosis if that cell is just not functioning at all. We know autophagy is a powerful way to anti-age, to prevent disease, and we get this autophagy with the longer fast. With that being said, many people struggle to function during these longer fasts, that's where bone broth comes into the mix. This is my number two tip right here. If you could add quality bone broth and extend that fast, you'll still be able to get some of that autophagy and you could complete those longer fasts. So I love this as a tool for longer fasts. 
When I take my group and I teach them how to complete a five day water fast, I always give them this bone broth as an option to extend that fast. Even if you've gone and you said you're committed to a 72 hour water fast and you're struggling 32 hours in, instead of breaking that fast with a whole bunch of food, you could add the bone broth and continue that fast. You're still going to get many benefits. So I love bone broth for extended fasts. The third way to pair bone broth with your intermittent fasting lifestyle is to break your fast with bone broth. It's one of the best things you could break your fast with because it's a combination of high quality protein and aminos and electrolytes. The worst way to break a fast, and if you wanna undo a lot of the benefits from that fast, is to break a fast with a whole bunch of carbohydrates and fat. We know that when you break a fast, your hormones are very sensitive. We want that, we want sensitive hormones. With that being said, if you have a combination of carbohydrates and fat to break your fast, the glucose spike from the carbohydrates, insulin will grab the glucose and do a great job at packing it into the cell. So it'll open up that cell door. Hey, but if you have fat along with it, it'll go along with the ride and go right into your cells and it can slow down fat burning. So we never wanna break a fast with a whole bunch of fat and carbohydrates. The best way to break a fast is with high quality protein. So I love bone broth as a way to break that fast and then an hour later is when I add my other feast meals into the mix. So that tip right there is huge because a lot of people undo the benefits, many of the benefits from their fast by breaking it the wrong way because how you break the fast is as important as the fast itself. I just gave you three ways to utilize bone broth with fasting. Here's something you gotta understand. Not all bone broths are created equal. A lot of the bone broths that's being sold online, in the stores, even if they say organic, they're just not using quality animal parts for that broth. I know and I trust my friends over at Kettle and Fire. I've tried out a lot of different bone broth companies and I've asked a lot of these companies where they source their chicken and their beef and the answers that came back were just not suited for my standards. Kettle and Fire is the only company I have found that actually meets my high quality of standards. They do it right. So if you wanna get the best bone broth, these are the guys to check out. Use Keto Camp at checkout and you'll get 10% off. I hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, please smash that thumbs up button and subscribe to this Keto Camp YouTube channel if you haven't done so already. We talk about all things keto, fasting, and performance and longevity on this channel. So if you're interested in any of that, you're definitely in the right spot. So go ahead, get your bone broth fasting on, and I can't wait to hear about your results.